Some people have even called them rebels. This is what all the fuss is about. It's like snow surfing. Sweet. Straight out of backside. But get real. Visible from downtown Vancouver in Victoria on a clear day, the stratal volcano that is Mount Baker or Kulshan rises to a height of 3,288 meters or 10,786 feet. Its shining white glaciers are due to it being one of the snowiest places in the world, and after Mount Rainier has the most glacier cover of the Cascade Range volcanoes. The mountain is approximately 48 kilometers straight east of Bellingham, Washington and has the second most thermally active crater after Mount St. Helens. So naturally, I find this peak very attractive, and snowboarding down from the summit is something I dream about. In this video, Nadine, myself, and my dog Nina will be attempting Mount Baker via the Easton Glacier. This is the busiest trailhead I've ever been at in my life. Mount Baker trailhead on a really busy May weekend. Absolutely nuts. Parking in here is like Tetris times 1000. Time to, we've reached snow already. Time to put boots on. Well, according to this signage, yeah. it is required to pack out all human waste from this area under, including Mount Baker. Yeah. There's the top, still covered by a cap of cloud. We've got like a, a cloud cap sitting over the summit, which looks pretty cool, but also a little bit ominous. Top is still covered in cloud. Just hope that clears up for tomorrow. We'd like some clear skies to see the sunrise as we go up. Please folks, if you're coming up into the mountains, don't dump your plastic snack wrappers and alcohol and beverage cans just on the snow and on the glaciers. It's not very cool to do that. Now, for a camp, we've gone a little bit past where everyone else was setting up their tents. Because as you know, when choosing a campsite, it's all about the views you can see. And here we've got the top of Baker behind me. These gnarly spires to the west. This range to the south. And uh, all the way to the Salish Sea, Puget Sound. To the ocean which is facing sunset so this is going to be spectacular on top of that we've got a fresh water source a melt water pond so we can grab drinking water and not have to melt snow from that electric blue pool so this is sick 
instant mashed potato, folks. It's the dinner of dreams. Anything you're enjoying right now? Yeah, we just had dinner and uh, the sun is uh, glorious right now. Nice and warm, no wind. We're just above 1,800 meters, I think. Uh, beautiful area, away from all the people. Are you guys happy campers? We definitely are. sunset oh my the sunset is priceless it's truly 360 view okay the alarm is set for 1 30 and we aim to leave the tent by 2 30 a.m and head up to the summit of mount baker so we're just going to sleep for a few hours maybe uh four hours of sleep here because it's nine now and the sun is just set so we've woken up, it's now 2.30. It's cool to get to watch some lightning storms to the south as we drink our morning coffee. And now we're just packing up, getting ready to start up for the summit. It's not easy, but just the excitement of being up here is driving me forward. I have a good feeling about this and I think the sun will break through the clouds for our ride down. Although right now, not much to be seen up there. Feeling good, right? We have just switched to uh, boot crampons as we are facing the Roman wall in front of us, which is the steepest part of Mount Baker. And we're just gonna boot pack up this. We have between 200 and 300 meters left to the summit. And this is the clearest it's been all morning. This is the best visibility. We can see the huge train of people down there below us. It's not a warm day. Are you enjoying the Roman wall? It's hard to see, but it's not soft. It's easy to make boot pack. And Nina's cooperating, so yeah, it's going well, I think. I'm hoping we get a window to ski down. Like ghosts in the fog. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> 
We are on the summit of Mount Baker, also known as Kulshan in indigenous uh, name. It's 3,288 meters above sea level. I don't know if you can hear this really well because it's pretty windy and it's white out up here. But uh, this is my first Cascade Volcano, the northernmost of the American Cascade Volcanoes. It's a stratovolcano. Uh, soak in them views, folks, because uh, yeah, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't, right? And a dog came with us. Nina made it all the way up here and she killed it. People loved seeing her the whole way. She had no issues. It's a little bit cold now, but we're gonna turn around and head down to softer snow and warmer temps. <laughs> so when I transition on a steep slope, I stab my ax into the snow above my standing platform and I use that as a blockade to hold my bag from sliding down. It's a great little quick trick for holding your gear secure in the snow. Just stab that ax down in and brace your gear against it and then anything I need to loop over so I don't lose it, I loop over that ax. Amazing how the snow changes as we go down. There's clouds below us, the sky cleared, it's crystal blue. This was amazing, 1,500 meters of descent so far and we still got a little bit more to go to our camp. Wow, this is fun. One of the best snowboard descents I've ever gotten. Just beautiful, soft spring snow. You can just rip into it. This has been a blast. We're just trying to reach our camp without having to hike uphill. It's down there by the Blue Pond and uh, we have to get up on top of this spine. But if we drop in too soon, I think we have to go uphill to get out. We want to ride straight back to the campsite. This is what we 
call or ski in, ski out on Mount Baker. So we were able to ski right back to our campsite, which is incredible. One of the longest and best ski descents of my life, 1500 meters. May not sound like the most to the, the highest experienced people, but that was an absolute blast. It's amazing to see the difference in, in snow difference from the top, which was a bit icy, and then it softened up. And then we hit the sun and it was just creamy, smooth turns. And it was such a good time. Did you enjoy that, Nadine? Yeah, I'm so glad that the, the weather cleared up as we were skiing down because it's the, the top of the Roman wall was a little bit... Yeah, icy and chunky. Icy, chunky, and complete whiteout. Yeah. Um, so it was pretty scary. Then but, things opened up and it was like, wow. Yeah, then it was epic. Yeah. And uh, the best is we still have 800 meters to go down. That's so true. we're not done yet. Yeah, we are not done yet. There's <laughs> more to go. We are dropping down below the clouds on the way out and man, the visibility is just awful as we're coming through this cloud layer. You can barely see 20 feet in front of you, but we're dropping through it. And so it's getting better underneath the clouds. You stay. After we dumped the water out of our boots and shrugged our heavy packs, we headed to the closest town in Lorenzo's to celebrate with some Mexican. A perfect ending. 